Well, friends, Harry's coming to you live and in color once again. Back up here at the upper barn, what we call the new barn, which is really old now. It's been built forever. One of the newest barns on the property we've built. Back up here with the little uh, three-point hitch manure scoop we was using here not long ago in one of the other videos. Just going to do a follow-up on it and tell everybody a little bit about it. You don't see many of these things around. It does have a tag on it. Right here it said it was made in Canada. Actual bought made piece of machinery. It does a real good job. They made a lot of good equipment in Canada. We've had it for years. Uh, we got it back in the late 80s. It's still got regional paint on it. Three point there, it just got that chain folds up, hook your middle link, top link, everything up. Pins right here, it's built heavy duty. Works real good. We've had it on 3,000, 2,000. Had it on my little 4630, it does real good. Uh, pretty well, just simple design on this old scoop. Comes in handy. Clean these old barns and stuff out. Got the manure forks on it. I still got the paint on. Of course, we've always cleaned it up every time we've ever used it. It always gets bad as soon as we get done. We don't let it have time to dry on there, because if you do, you never get it off. Y'all know what well as I do. You got to clean your thing up like that before it sits in and dries. It's always been shed kept. That's life anything. It's pretty well hands-on sample. You got your pull rope right there. You just trip lever. Hit dumps. Let her down. Like to hit it again the ground there. As you go pulling out, it'll lock back. Come back up here and get your nose scoop, back the pile. We pile it outside, leave it kind of like a compost pile, and it starts breaking up a little bit. We'll bring a spreader and run it out on the ground. We always utilize all we got. That right there is as good a fertilizer as you'll get during cow crap, horse crap, better than anything you'll buy at the co op or anywhere else. It's got a spot in the barn up here, the little scoop has. It's paid for itself time and time again. Save a lot of back breaking, pitchforking, and stuff like that. We do quite a bit of pitchforking in these other barns and horse and mule stables down here. These other barns, all of them are still done by hand, pitchforked out. That's something you don't see much of nowadays, but the way the old barns are built down there, you can't get a piece of machinery in there. There's no way. And that's just like up here, the scoop comes in handy. But, uh, you can't get a front end loader in there. The way the barn's built, you've got a cattle shed, driveway, another shed, and we've got hay stored in there. This is where the cattle come in. This is where they eat in wintertime. Concrete floor. They got all that room back through there to eat. And of course, you got all that litter to deal with. So, that scoop comes in a mighty handy. Front end loader, you can't get it in there simply for the fact the loft is not that high. The little tractors go under there just perfect. 2,000, 3,000 go right under there. Our loader tractor will not clear the hay loft. And I'm not about to saw the loft out or saw the canopy off the tractor when I can use this little three-point hitch scoop over there. It does a real good job. We had the three-point hitch scoop long before we had the front end loader tractor. Back in the day when this barn was built here, this scoop right here is all we had to do anything with it, long before the front end loader ever was thought of. We couldn't afford nothing like it no way back when this scoop was bought. This little scoop come out of a uh, auction, Greene County, Tennessee, uh, like I say, years ago, back in the late 80s. I've seen only one other one of these in my lifetime. There's bound to be more of them out there. Has to be somewhere. I'm not sure exactly on the year when exactly they was made. Back years ago in the late 50s, early 60s, you've seen a lot of the old Dearborn made scoops and stuff kind of like that. Uh, different brands made them. A lot of them was mounted up under the tractor, though. What I've seen on a lot of the older Fords especially, they made them, they made them like that first scoop and litter and scooping hay. It made hay forks back in the day when everybody was still 
changing over from loose hay with pitchforks, putting up loose hay, moving whole your know, haystacks and whatnot, stuff like that with forks and scoops. They're changing over from that to going to everybody going to square bale hay. Little manure scoops like this, they're rare, around here anyway. They may be some more out there through the rest of the country scattered out. If y'all ever seen one, let us know. Put it down in the comments. And anybody knows much anything else about them, choose a line. Drop a comment down there. Let us know if you got more information on that thing. That's, that's about all I know can tell you about it. Made in Canada. Handy little piece of equipment. And just guessing, I'd say a lot of these things probably got scrap. People didn't know what they was for, just didn't care. Nobody had a use for them, so they probably just sent them for scrap. Be my guess. A lot, a lot of good old tractors and machinery and stuff like that to hit the junkyard just for old, sold the pennies on the dollar for scrap because nobody knows half of what they had years ago. When junk got high, they was pulling stuff out of their fence row and every holler they would. It's a shame. But there's a few old relics like that out there. Some people still hanging on to them. We still use. We collect all this old stuff. We still like to use it because it's been paid for for a long time. It comes in handy, still gets the job done. Some of this old stuff just can't be improved upon. I mean, it's just scooping crap. It ain't that complicated. It ain't rocket science, you know. So, I mean, you ain't got to get that technical about that thing. 